Uh, first off, good morning. I want to welcome everybody to the Wellness Center here on the Health Sciences campus of Augusta University. My name is Taylor Lamb, Director of Athletic Media Relations, and uh, we appreciate you coming to today's press conference for our announcement. Uh, we'll get things going, like I said, so we don't keep you all day. I'm going to invite up Coach Bryant, Director of Athletics, um, to talk about our sixth head coach in Jaguar Baseball history. Good. Good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Taylor. Uh, first of all, on behalf of Brooks Keel, the President of Augusta University, I'd uh, like to welcome you to the Health uh, Science Campus. Um, we are making a conscientious effort this year to do a lot more things that are related athletically to this campus uh, to get more exposure. I'm sure you've seen the beautiful dormitories right behind you that our freshmen will be moving in this year. And you're sitting in the area that will be the first time at Augusta University that we will have a meal program for our students. So we're very, very excited about that. Uh, but we're here today to, to to introduce our new head coach. And before I do that, I'd like to thank a, a few people. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Susan Norton and her team um, in HR for being able to uh, fast forward this thing because, as you guys know, that uh, you know we've been under some time restraints and Coach Eller leaving us just uh, a few weeks ago and, 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 our, and our students being back on campus in less than three weeks. Uh, they'll be reporting for, for campus and start classes on the 17th. So we really need to get this thing off in hurry. And, and, and I want to thank Susan Norton and her team, uh, especially Tanisha Richardson and, and Gina Pickett, who really picked up the ball and ran to it. We uh, received over 60 applications for a head baseball coaching job. And uh, we reviewed all of those. And uh, we had four outstanding candidates uh, come to, to campus. Now. Uh, I'd like to thank Coachella for a couple of things. Number one, uh, you know, three years ago he took over the, our baseball program. We made some really good improvement on the field, uh, as evident by making the Peachville Conference Tournament. But we all know that Coachella, uh, his forte and one of his strong suits is being able to recruit and recruit talent. And I'd like to thank him personally because I think he recruited a super talent when he was, he recruited assistant coach last year named Chris Howard. Uh, that I brought him to us here on our campus because he's an outstanding young man. And at the end of the day, I started my 29th year here at Augusta University and I ran a few searches over those, those years. And it's, it's rather simple. We kind of bring people in. Once we bring people to campus, there's no doubt that the people we bring in are all capable of running the various programs that we offer athletically. And it was no different this time. We had four outstanding people. But what we look for is just trying to find the right fit, the right person, not only fit in at our university, but fit into our athletic department. And our coaches and staff, they play a role each and every day in, 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 in trying to make sure that they get along pretty good together. And then we also, made sure that we included our, 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 our baseball team members and made sure they were a part of the process as well. Because I want to know what they think, how they feel, uh, uh, what's important to them. And, and, and on every front, it just kept coming up that, that, that Chris Howell was our guy. And we were fortunate enough to have him right here on our campus. And, he, and, and some people said, well, you know, he's a young coach. Yes, he's a young coach. But he's got a lot of experience in those young years. You know, he played baseball at a very high level. He was on a 2005 uh, University of Tennessee team that made the, uh, the, the World Series uh, in baseball in, in, in Omaha. Uh, you know, he played professionally for uh, a couple of years with the uh, Angels out in, uh, in California. And then, you know, he, he was a high school coach, and a very successful high school coach, won a state championship another runoff position and, and, and did some things there, coached at the junior college level, and then became an assistant coach in this league where um, he worked for a very good friend of mine, a guy named Randy Dunn, who happens to be the athletic director at uh, Young Harris uh, College, who's, who's one of my closest friends. And, and, and he told me when we hired Chris that how great a person he was, a good baseball coach, but more importantly, a tremendous person 
and, um, and then looking at what we're trying to do with our baseball program and where we want to go and, and what we're going to do in the coming years, we just kept pointing toward Chris because I think Chris can get us there, not only from a coaching standpoint. He, he can coach the game of baseball. He understands the ins and outs, the X's and O's. He can recruit, he can scout. Uh, he's going to schedule, he's going to develop players and all of that. More importantly, I think he'll be a role model for those 35 or 40 young men that he's going to be responsible for. Uh, he's a tremendous leader. Uh, we think we, we're getting a twofer here because his wife, Corey, is a tremendous person as well. She works at the university uh, along with uh, Dr. Marion in our, in, our, in our nursing program. So this is, this is a win-win for Augusta, Augusta University. Uh, Dr. Keel is very excited about uh, Chris coming on as well. Um, I know David Hunt, our faculty athletic representative, uh, is very excited about uh, Chris uh, coming to the town. So with no further ado, I'd like to bring Chris Howell up so you guys can meet him, talk to him a little bit. I've got a couple things I want to give. Come on up, Chris. I'm going to give him a water bottle of Jag water, because he's going to need that because as much as he stay outside. But I got one for, for Corey as well, because she, she runs all the time and walks and hangs outside. But, but, but keep that for that. And then I'm going to give him, Coach Demetrius is always saying, well, you know, every coach needs a clipboard. <laughs> so I want to give you this for the Jaguar. So the Jaguar family is awfully excited to, to make Chris Howell. One of our own, the new head baseball coach at our university. So let's give Chris a round of applause. Thank you, Coach. Thank you guys so much for coming out. There's a lot of people I want to thank. There's a lot of people that's had an impact on my life and supported me throughout the years. Um, I'm honored yet humbled to be the next head baseball coach at Augusta University. It's my goal to ensure the development of both of the athletes, both academically and athletically. I'm committed to the university, I'm committed to this team, I'm committed to Jaguar Nation, and I'm definitely committed to this community. Um, and I want to thank them. I want to thank Dr. Keel, the president of the university. I'm excited about his direction and leadership um, of Augusta. I want to thank Coach Bryant for the, the opportunity be the next head baseball coach. Thank you for entrusting me to lead this program. I want to thank Coach Bryant's staff. I want to thank the, the positive environment, the encouraging words. Um, it, it's awesome to, to walk the halls of, of the gym and, and have coaches pop in your office and talk to you, um, and that's encouraging, so thank you. Um, I want to thank Taylor Lamb for all the work that he's done. Um, my family means everything to me. Um, and it's something that, that kind of explains who I am. And I wouldn't be up here today if it wasn't for my wife, Cora. And I want to thank her. Um, our our soon-to-be son, Hayden, will be here rather shortly. Um, as a baseball coach, you, you, you spend your career, you spend your life pushing players, um, trying to encourage them with, with more energy, trying to encourage them to maximize um, their career. Um, and I'm fortunate enough to, to have a wife that's pushing me in my career. Um, so thank you for that. Um, to my family, the phone calls every night. Um, to my dad and my parents. Um, to Teresa and Jim and Ryan, thank you all for coming. Um, my support staff is, is, is very large and deep and I'm excited and, and grateful for everything that they've done. To all the former players, coaches, staff, and everyone that makes this university go, um, I'm grateful for the community and the commitment to this university. From the staff that works on the field to the fundraising in the community, thank you for everything that you've done. Um, thank you for, for making this job one of the best jobs in the country, and I, I'm glad I'm a part of it. We're going to set high academic standards. That's what is important to me. What's important to me is to continue to build this program, um, continue to build a culture by commitment, by trust, Communication, communicate with the players. Um, and, and we've got some players here today, and I appreciate you guys coming. Um, they were in on the committee, and we had the opportunity to sit down and talk about the direction of it, and I appreciate you guys coming out. 
the outlook on the 2017 baseball team is exciting. Um, we've got a lot of depth coming back um, on the mound and um, position players. We're excited. We've got nine players coming in that are transferring in as freshmen and some as sophomores and juniors that will be living in the new dorm. So it's an exciting time right now in Augusta. We're going to work. We're going to work. We're going to work. We're going to need your support. And we look forward to seeing you guys out at Lake Homestead. Thank you so much.